So today, let's do work on this song, beautiful song by Stevie Wonder, Isn't She Lovely? And the rhythm, it's a shuffle rhythm, and this rhythm, it's really hard to do. It's sort of swing in the shuffle too, so. You see? Down, up, down, down, up. So let's go through each chord. C sharp minor 7. You want to know all the degree. Root 5th plus 7 plus 3 fifth. And F sharp 7, 13. Root plus 7, major 3rd, 13. Nice. And A is a triad, and B is a bass. Root plus 7, 9, 4th, 11th, or 3rd, then major 7. Root 5th, major 7, major 3rd, 5th. Or sometimes major 9, root 3rd, 7, and 9. Always thinking about, but when you practice thinking about. Same thing. Sometimes I add a little bit like this, B plus 13, plus 13, and A major 7, beautiful. Root, root, 3rd, 5th, major 7. You can play a really simple dominant like this, you know, root 5th, plus 7, 3rd, 7, root. Or sometimes I play a little jazzy, plus 13, root, plus 7, major 3rd, plus 13. Or C diminished 7, but this is really uh, G sharp 7 flat 9 because 3rd, 7, flat 9, and 5th. You can do it like that. And A over B, 2 major. Then this, this pentatonic scale, you want to play every note clearly. Three, four. A lot of people play like almost one position or sliding or hammering. So make sure everything neat. Too loud.
really think in scale so much. I always think about try it. So first thing would you like to do is you would like to do is uh, play C sharp minor triad. And this part you really have to work on TL GL number three and practice applying triads. So this is not instant. You have to do several step of work. So now after you do several step of work, now applying to C minor, C minor, F sharp, major, A, and E. You have to go, you know, ascending, descending, a lot of way to do it, and so that's really important, right? Okay, so now one trick is you wanna do is A over B. You can do B A B A. And just in case melody. chords I like sometimes simple Just a flat seven go to root. Third, fifth, root, triad. Different song. Also A major seventh arpeggio. See arpeggio, you don't have to play everything literally because if you do that, it sounds like exercise. So when you practice, you have to practice arpeggio. So if you practice this A major seventh arpeggio, I play from major seventh. So at least you want to prepare five positions. That's probably good. four or five positions. So one memorization isn't do well because anybody can do it. So you have to do something better than four other people. <laughs> like, may just, you know, so forth. Sometimes people ask a scale. Sounds like C sharp harmonic minor from fifth, but like that, and I do third. So I do like this third, fifth, plus seven, plus nine. This is my leg. No leg, uh, my friend. Watch my thumb. Always relax.
So those are idea. And C sharp minor, especially my idea is minor third above C sharp minor, which is E. If you play major seventh arpeggio, minor third above C sharp minor, that becomes minor ninth sound. Watch this one. This is a, a major seventh arpeggio. Even Stevie Ray played. Not even, that's very rude to say, so sorry. So Stevie Ray played this major seventh arpeggio against minor ninth, so he understood that's minor ninth. So even though C sharp minor pentatonic sound, Even though that's C sharp minor, you can. So, one more. Amazing James Valentine model, and I use a single code. Alright, so see you next time.